Hi, this is Brittany Drozd, and I am happy to be back from a year of silence. Well, it wasn't really silence, but it was a year off from making videos. And it was intentional. This isn't just a coincidence that I'm coming back at exactly a year. I chose to take the year to spend time with my new baby, Daphne, and she just turned a year old last week. Um, it's amazing to look back at the videos I was making right before she was born. You can probably see my, uh, my pregnancy through my videos. But I have had the most remarkable year, the most remarkable year of growth, um, the most remarkable year of truths, of, of actualization of my full potential, of massive um, disappointments and feeling completely overwhelmed, um, a year of getting to really know much better who I am and what I'm made of. And that's why today I'm thrilled to be back doing videos again. I absolutely love this format. I feel like I'm actually connecting much more with the people in my community, um, in my tribe. And so for that reason, I'm happy to be back and hopefully serve you better. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop with the, with the written blogs because those also, I think, serve my purpose in a, in a different way as well. So expect both from me in the future. But I wanted to come today just to talk about um, the importance of reflection because I spend a lot of time reflecting on this last year as I was thinking about what I'm gonna what am I gonna make for my first video back I have this whole page of ideas of things that I could talk about and don't worry like those will come but the thing that struck me most was the power of reflection so I'm currently integrating that more and more in my work and I'm actually doing a weekly reflection and I'll talk about this in a few weeks to come and I've noticed not only for not only has it yielded much more productivity for me, but the unexpected gift of spending more time in reflection has been greater satisfaction, um, contentment, but actually happiness. It's, it yields greater happiness. I think we forget so quickly and so easily what the struggle was the day before, what the challenge was that we've overcome, and we're on to the next problem we're trying to solve, we're on to the next struggle. And we don't give ourselves credit for the tremendous amount of work we did to get there, to overcome the previous one, the day before, the week before, the month before, the year before. If you don't have a process of writing these things down, working through them, and then reflecting on what you've learned and where you, and how you've grown, you're likely to not give yourself the credit or the compassion for what you've done. And you're more likely to forget, forget the tools or the resources, or the resilience, whatever it took to get there. So if you keep repeating history, if you keep trying to reinvent the wheel when you're solving these problems, it's going to take much longer to get ahead. You're going to feel more accomplished. You're going to feel happier, more satisfied by having this process of reflection. So I have a very simple one that I want to let you in on. I'm going to do, um, give you more details about it later. But on Sundays, I simply write down what my goals are for the week ahead. And I've learned to not be so ambitious, but you can learn that as well. Um, and at the end of the week, I look at what I did. I write down the greatest success. I note the greatest challenge or failure or struggle. And I try and look at what tools or resources I had or didn't have to have that outcome. And the next week, I move forward with that learning, with that experience. So when I look at my past year, my gosh, I wish I had done that every week, but I have some big milestones, especially with having a new baby, that I can look back and say, wow, I remember that struggle. I feel so accomplished that I've passed it. 
I give myself more credit than I used to because of this process. So with that said, I'm happy to be back. I'm excited to get more videos out there, engage more with the community, and, and serve more fully, more completely, because that also brings me happiness. But for the sake of this video, think about how you can add a moment of reflection, even just for one minute in your week. What would you like to reflect on? What do you think could bring you greater happiness, reflecting on something in your personal life, focusing more professionally on the reflection? And when does it make sense to set up that time for a weekly reflection for you? Maybe it's a monthly reflection, but I encourage a uh, daily or weekly. And track your progress. I'd love to hear how this is going for you. If you already have a reflection process, please share it in the comment section of this video or on the blog. We can all stand to learn a thing or two from each other. And again, this is just my process that's worked for me. So I look forward to hearing from you in the comments section. Um, if you have ideas for things you want to hear about going forward in a video or on the blog, please send them to me. Send them to my email or through the contact form on my website. And have a great week creating the life and legacy that you truly love. Thank you.